it did not go well. Truthfully, it lasted less than two minutes. I walked up, he gave me a hug and said, are you hungry? Let's go inside. We went inside. He said, actually, can you step outside for a minute? I stepped back outside and he said, I'm not trying to offend you, but I'm just not feeling it. So I walked to my car, came back home. Dating when you're fat sucks. So my first thought is maybe she didn't show everything on her dating profile. So he had no idea what he was getting into. But I saw this clip of what her dating profile looked like. I couldn't find it again for this video, but she showed everything. She had full body photos. She had selfies all without filters. She What's the relevance though? Like, why does that matter at all? You acting like even if that person did show up accurate, that somehow means that that person is entitled to stay with that individual, even though they have absolutely no connection and maybe they were supposed to be on a date but that doesn't really mean anything given the fact that you could just leave at any point in time it's not like it's a job where somebody's paying you it's not like <laughs> it's not like i'm under contract to be here it's perfectly fine for that individual to not waste anybody's time saw the person and said you know what it's whatever it's okay i don't like this it could literally have been anything right it, it might not have been a wait it might have been something else it might have been i don't know maybe the person had like a mole on the back of their neck and they saw it the wrong way kind of like when you see christian bale and you realize that christian bale has that really really obvious mole on the side of his eye and once you see it you can't unsee it so it might have been something like that but that doesn't mean that you're entitled to stay with that individual because you feel bad or you know like oh because we set up this date no that's not how that works at all i'm sick of these people feeling bad for this woman that woman is hogwash that woman why are we all feeling bad for that individual did you not see that follow-up video where she blatantly lied about the fact that the guy said oh well it's because you're fat that i'm not dating you she put that video out like two days later when everybody was giving her shit for that because you know why because she knew that it didn't add up it didn't make any sense what she was saying so she had to add in something else to make it seem like the guy was way worse than he actually was when he probably wasn't at all because he literally just said i don't really fuck with this i'm not really trying to do this uh gg we're gonna leave so what the, what, what, what are we even supposed to do here? Why is everybody feeling bad for this girl? I am not in the, I'm not in the business of just catering to people because they're crying or they feel bad. I don't personally care. If you're in the wrong, you're in the wrong. This one was in the wrong. How do you, how do you even get upset at the fact that the guy's just not wasting your time? I don't even understand the, the point of like saying, oh, well, she looked exactly the same way that she looked in her dating profile. So what the hell are you talking about? Like I said in the previous video, if you show up and you're about to buy something from the grocery store and then when you see the IRL and you're looking at it in person, you go, ah, never mind, I don't really want it. You know why? Because times things change. Uh, your opinions change on stuff. Maybe you feel this way here, but when you get over back over here, things change, okay? And the same thing could be said here because you're not even entitled. You're not, you, this person didn't promise or do anything. And even if they did promise, so what? It's a random person you met on a dating app. Showed everything. She had full body photos. She had selfies all without filters. She made it very clear on what she looked like. What the man did was not okay in this one. What do you mean not okay? As opposed to what? Like what did he do exactly that you, dedu you deduce as wrong? Him leaving saying that he was obviously a gentleman about it. He said, listen, it's not gonna work. Let's go home. And then they did. What else can you expect from that individual other than that? That seems like perfect etiquette in that particular scenario. Why are we even talking about this shit? Like, why was he, what he did was wrong. Okay, he, he might've done something wrong in the sense of like, he said he wanted to go on the date and then when he showed up, it didn't, it wasn't gonna work. So is he just supposed to stay there even though he didn't want to stay there? What are you talking about, dude? What are we, we supposed to do here, man? Do you like force this guy to sit here even though he doesn't like the individual within question? If it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work. Why are we forcing the guy to stay here? If you have a preference like that, perfectly valid, but you need to look at the pictures before you go out on the date. I don't know why you're assuming that he didn't look at the pictures or why are you assume? Okay, listen, if you're sitting here and you're telling me that the profile pictures perfectly match up what that individual looked like, then why are you assuming that has anything to do with what she looked like? It could have been obviously other, other things that are in the question. It could have been the car she drove up in, could have been the stench that she emanated off her body, could have been the gray hair, could have been the mole that I talked about, could have been the outfit that she wore. It could have been literally anything. And you're just sitting here deducing that it has something to do with her weight. How do you even know it has anything to do with her Wait, just because she made a follow-up video two days later saying that the guy screamed out of his car window, oh, it's because you're overweight, doesn't actually mean that that's what he said. She just made that shit up. I'm going to call it out. She's lying. She's calling, she's saying that so she can validify the statement to make it look more realistic, but it's not realistic. She's, she's just, she's just crying on the internet for no other reason than just to cry on the internet because she didn't get a date. By the way, just some random person is not entitled to your time, okay? Like just because you met up with a person on the internet doesn't mean that they're supposed to just stay there with you regardless of whether or not they like you or not. Are you, how? entitled are how entitled are you in 2024 to just expect people to just to maintain with you even though they don't want to be around you that's ridiculous 
Or if you spend excessive amounts of time talking to this person, just flip through their pictures real quick and make sure you're actually attracted to the person. Maybe you should flip through your brain capacity. It seems like you're not really thinking about what's actually going on here. And the fact that you're insinuating, you're, you're insinuating that this person didn't look through the pictures is actually retarded. Of course that person looked through the pictures. What do you, like, you, it's not that much work. You're actually, you're actually trying to imply that that person didn't have enough brain capacity to flip through the pictures. Are you crazy? Are you dumb? What are you talking about? You obviously knew, you literally said it straight out. She looked exactly like she did there. So obviously it probably had nothing to do with the physical, the physical shape of that woman. You talked to this man for like three weeks and she said that she even talked to him on the phone and she made it very clear that she was overweight. So? And for those of you thinking, oh, it was probably for another reason. He actually said something along the lines to her that it was because of that. So she- No, that's not, listen, I'm not taking that next video. Why the fuck would you make a whole video talking about how you met up with a guy and it was a great time. You told me you were fat. You walked into the establishment with this guy and he was like, you know what? Never mind. Let's walk outside for a second. It's not going to work. And then she said, we both went to our cars. Why would you then, uh, two days later, make a follow-up video saying that the guy said that you're fat? Why would you not include that in the initial video? Why would you ever include that in a two day, a two day later video? Wouldn't it make more sense to include it there since everybody was going to be questioning on why this guy left you to begin with? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, this, the whole story, if you're including that, makes no sense. Why would you not include that initially? I'm gonna call bullshit on it. That's not something that happened. She was able to confirm it. She wasted all that time getting ready and- So the fuck what, dude? Don't get ready. She was literally saying she only put on- Didn't she literally said all she say- She said she put on, just put on mascara, right? How much- how, how long does it take to put on mascara? Okay, whatever. She wasted all that time. Are we not gonna talk about all the time the guy wasted? Are we not gonna talk about all the time that the guy put into? How much gas money he put into? Why does this only apply to her? Why is this so one-sided, bro? Get off this woman's dick, bro. Tell this woman to put a condom on for his dick riding, bro. And talking to him for weeks for that. So yes. a young woman on TikTok has gone viral for going on the world's shortest first date ever. And my heart just breaks for her. The story is just awful because she truly did nothing wrong at all. Yeah. Anytime I hear people talk like this, bro, it's just like, I often wonder how these people even have social media careers if they just say like straight up blasphemous bullshit such as this, man. Like, did this woman not read? Did, did, they, did they not see the whole story, bro? I'm willing to listen. Go ahead, bro. I put makeup Female Ben Shapiro. Go ahead. On just for this date, so it better go well. It did not go well. Truthfully, it lasted less than two minutes. I walked up, he gave me a hug and said, are you hungry? Let's go inside. We went inside. He said, actually, can you step outside for a minute? I stepped back outside and he said, I'm not trying to offend you, but I'm just not feeling it. Dating when you're fat sucks. This is literally a nightmare to not just be rejected, which is awful in and of itself, but to be rejected to your face before you even got the chance to connect with somebody, to even prove yourself or show yourself to be. Yeah, that's literally how dating works. I, have you not been in the dating market? People get ghosted for lesser things all the time. People show up on dates and look at the other person and say, I'm not doing that. And they walk off. So I understand this guy might be in the wrong in the sense of like he met up with the girl, but things change and maybe he didn't want to, he didn't want, he didn't feel obliged to continue with that same, that same date. And by the way, are we just gonna go, are we just gonna completely acknowledge not acknowledge what she said in the follow-up video when she said besides getting literal r worded okay graped and murdered this is the this is the next worst thing that can happen i just think everything that woman says is actually terrible everything and you know what i know there are people out there like such as this person or everybody else that's going to defend this woman fuck you okay i don't care i don't care what anybody says you guys are all wrong okay i know i'm right on this this woman was actually terrible on this but on these videos okay she was trying to make it seem like she was in the right she's not in the right she's not okay. was that guy in the wrong for walking off yeah but what she said and how she justified all that stuff is tenfold worse tenfold worse he didn't waste your time he kept it a buck he said i didn't want to be offensive to you why would a guy say i don't want to be offensive or i don't want to be mean and then proceed to walk away and be like you're fat as fuck why would you ever say that that's not how that works at all that doesn't mean, it doesn't track onto reality so when i hear people but these people are just riding this woman's dick as if this woman didn't do anything wrong at all. But she did watch the follow-up videos, even watch that initial video. It doesn't make any sense. I don't care. Why should I feel bad for that individual? That's literally what dating is nowadays. You want, you, you literally meet up with somebody, you see what they look like, they look like boiled eggs, and you go, ah. I guess I gotta stick it out or you just leave. You're not entitled to anybody's time. Stop acting like you're, stop acting like I'm employing you or you're employing me. That's not how that works, stop. To your face before you even got the chance to connect with somebody to even pandering to like I, so what man who cares prove yourself or show yourself to be rejected so abrasively 
and cruelly. What do you mean abrasively? How was it abrasively? That person literally said like, hey, I don't think it's going to work, GG, and walked off. How was that abrasively? Have you ever had a conversation with a human being before that was actually trying to be hostile to you verbally? That's not abrasive in any way. That shit was actually very, very, if I'm being honest with you, super, super, super progressive in terms of conversation. The dude kept it a buck. He's just like, what is that, five words? Like, have we really lost this amount of decency and what, are you, what What is decency exactly? What are you talking about? Wait, what, is the guy supposed to just stick around even though he doesn't like the girl? What do you mean? Isn't that the entire point? Isn't that what the decency was? Him looking at her and seeing that he didn't like her and then just decided that it wasn't going to work? Isn't that what the decency is? What are you even talking about? What does that have to do with anything? And cruelly, like, have we really lost this amount of decency and basic kindness? Because that Basic kindness. You want that dude to just stick around because it's kind. Okay. That's the real problem here. That's some pussy ass shit. Like, uh, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to acknowledge that that person that would have to stay around even though they didn't want to do it. That'd be like literally showing up to a job that you're not getting paid for. And they go, yup. Yeah, bro. Go ahead and, uh, you know, go to the back to the receiving, get the couple pallets out, break them down, do what you got to do. You're not getting paid today because we fired you yesterday. But guess what? So what? You're still doing it. Showing up to work with no pay. That's literally what that is. If that guy found no incentive to stay around, he's not entitled to stay around. Stop acting like this woman is like the, the be all end all when it comes to human beings. Nah, dude, she's ass. And while the majority of the people in the comment section, both on Twitter and on TikTok were kind and sympathetic, they were- I'm not. Also, people who said, you know, you look like you're fat. I bet he didn't know what you looked like. I, bet I, I don't personally have no, I have no care on whether or not she was or was not fat. Like I said in my initial video, it literally doesn't matter if that woman was fat. If the guy saw her and he said that he didn't like the way that she looked or whatever it may be, then he didn't want to be with her. It doesn't matter what her physical shape is, regardless of whether or not he wanted to do it or not. That's my whole point. He didn't want to do it. Why are we trying to force this guy to stay on the date? But you fat fished him. You tricked him. No. She did not. She did no such thing. Right, because that's not the point of the fucking video, bro. Like, it's almost as if these people are not capable of critically thinking, okay? It, 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 she made it a point that she was fat. She just said it at the very end there to try to make it seem like it has something to do with, like, her marginalization status. When it doesn't, it has nothing to do with that. That's why the next following video, she had to preference it, um, sorry, preface it, to try to put in the fact that, you know, oh, this guy, this guy said something else. To, so that perfectly justifies it. It wraps it in a nice, nice little bow. No, that's not the case. I don't, I don't even care that that one was fat. She just included that because she knew that it would add a little bit more flavor to it. No, it, 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 we don't know necessarily if that guy left for that reason. I mean, granted, she did make that video saying it, but like, I don't believe it. And you know what? If anybody does believe it, then you're probably not capable of critical thought. That, that, she literally made that video two days later. Just watch one of her responses. I make it very clear on my dating apps that I am plus size. I use lots of full body pictures on my profiles and I also tell them that I'm a plus size girl and that I'm probably bigger than they expect. I don't use filters. I don't use filters on dating apps. I don't use filters on here. I mean, she's doing all the right things. You cut her off. You cut her off, man. Come on, dude. You cut her off. Did you? Okay. In that original video, man, this is so, that is such pussy ass shit, dude. Oh my God. If you watch that full video, she says she doesn't use filters and then proceeds to say that she uses filters, okay? So if you want to sit there and say, oh, see, she doesn't use filters. Did you not watch the whole video? What kind of pussy ass shit is that, bro? She literally said in that initial video, hey, I use, I don't use filters, but I do use filters on these particular apps. So like, what are you even talking about? Of course she does. She literally said she did on the dating app. Think She's doing what people have asked of women to, you know, be upfront. What does this have to do with... Why does this have to do with her being a woman? Like, I mean, I understand that she is a woman herself, but like, what is the implication of that? Like, be honest, not catfish people. That is what she's trying to do. And as a woman, obviously, be honest and not catfish. True. That doesn't convince any haters that are out here. Here is her actual profile. Can you show off like the rest of that clip or no? Nah? Like, you're not going to include the part where she said besides being raped and murdered, it's like whatever. Like, that's okay. Sure, bro. I'm sure that she didn't change any of this shit, but go ahead. Yeah, no, I'm sure she's not capable of lying in any way, but let's look at this great photo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Buy me flowers and tell me I'm funny. Man, do you, listen, dude, if you're a girl, get, get rid of these cringy ass, these cringy ass little things. Don't even, don't even have these. Nobody's looking at that stuff. Nobody's, nobody, the way to win me over is to buy me flowers and tell me I'm funny. Dude, come on. It's cringe, dude. What are you, 44? You can clearly say. Thirty-two is crazy. I did not think she was thirty-two. I thought she was like in her mid mid thirties, 
or like late 30s, but fine. She's showing all of her apps, which she shouldn't have to do. On every single dating app, she was open, she was honest. Those are cute pictures. They showed a lot of personality. She seems so sweet. What a pussy, bro. This is some pandering ass shit. Watch the, watch the second video like you were just about to watch. And then you cut her off right before she said she does wear filters. Yeah, definitely, definitely don't show that, right? Because then that would actually... That would actually that would actually prove some points. Yeah, definitely. And most importantly, again, like if you just want to win internet points, it's fine. Like go ahead, but just can you announce it right before? Like, hey guys, what I'm about to say is completely disingenuous. I'm not actually willing to look into the story, anything past like the initial video, and I'm just going to agree with everything this woman says, even though none of it really makes makes any sense at all. And she literally sat there and she disqualified almost everything that she said by saying other things. So you know what? I'm just gonna go and get the internet points for the clout. Fine, go ahead, do that, bro. She was honest, so he had no reason. No, she wasn't honest. She literally was not honest. No excuse. Now, what was shocking to me, because this rarely happens, is that even people on X agreed. Nine millimeter SMG said the dude must have had ice in his veins. I would have finished the date unless she did something ridiculous. It is. Man, everybody always says some bullshit like this, though. Everybody always it's so quick for somebody to go. I would have finished the date. So what is that? What does that even mean? So what if you would have finished the date? What does that have to do with the guy that didn't finish the date? If he didn't want to finish the date, why are we holding him to such standards to finish the date? If a person doesn't want to do something, are we just supposed to like hold them into high, high regards? Like, oh yeah, even though you don't want to do this stuff, you should do it anyway, even though you have no claim to this person. Totally. Yeah, totally. 100%. Yeah. I, it's like these people are virtue signaling to make it seem like they're way better than this person. Like, come on, dude is not a commitment to marriage to eat with somebody. And then his reply cracked me up. He said, maybe I'm getting soft as I get older. She made another video showing her full body pictures from the dating site. She told the guy that she was big multiple times to avoid this. She has a very, very pretty face, but is overweight. If you know this going into it and she didn't represent herself as a bikini model, then the dude is a jerk. Okay, like we're still stuck on her looking fat. It may have not even been the fat. We just don't know, so. I can be cruel, but only to people who deserve it. This just rubbed me wrong. It's not cruel to look at somebody and go, never mind, it's not gonna work. Like, it's, I don't know what you mean by cruel, bro. If somebody said cruel, I'm looking at things like, I don't know, like child endangerment or something like that. Like, I'm not looking at fucking a guy going, hey, not to be rude, but it's not gonna work, and then just walk away. Like, I don't know what to tell you. That's not cruel. Exactly. And again, she did not deserve it. The point here is is not to tell people that you must find her attractive. You must be interested in that. Like, this is not the body. No, body. your point is to, regardless of how you feel, you should stick around. And even if you don't physically find that person attractive or whatever it may be, you don't find them attractive. It doesn't matter. Stay around. Suck it up. Stop being a bitch and stay around that individual. That's what you're saying. That's bullshit. And you're totally forgiving what that person said. It's some straight pussy ass shit. Positivity movement over here. We don't need to talk about that. But if you've been talking with somebody, if you've been flirting with somebody, if you ask them on a date and they arrive on time expecting to have a nice time and connect with you, the bare minimum, the least you can do is just follow through and be a true. But he didn't have to. A decent human being. Like, if the date's not going well, you don't get dessert. You get drinks, you get one on What are you talking about, bro? If the date's not going well, you gotta make it to dinner and you don't get dessert after? So you, like, the bare minimum, this arbitrary line that she's drawing is that you have to make it to dinner. What the fuck are you talking about? What? Well, who makes that rule? Who makes that rule? Why can't the person just walk off? If it's, if it's not in their interest and they don't want to do it, and you're telling that person, keep in mind, it'd be one thing if it was your wife, it'd be one thing if it was your kid, somebody you knew, somebody that you felt like you love, you love them and stuff like that, totally understandable, 100%. Maybe you owe something to that individual. But if you meet up with somebody and they're just some random person, how would you feel? I'd love to ask this individual. How would you feel if somebody that you started talking to on a dating app just ghosted you? The bare minimum of what they can do is just not ghost you. The bare minimum of you talking to that individual for like a week and a half is not ghost you, but they still ghosted you. So what? So what? Like, what are we supposed to do about that, huh? What about all those people that just meet up with people on dates just to get free food or just to fuck around? Or like, what about that? Is that just like, that's the bare minimum too? Like, is, are they doing the okay step? Like, what are we talking about, man? Like, what, what is this arbitrary line that we're drawing? This person is actually super, super victimizing this individual as if they didn't do anything wrong. Decent human being. Like, if the date's not going well, you don't get dessert. You get drinks, you get one entree, you don't get appetizers, and you go home, and you call them- Why can't I just like forsake all of that and just go home? Can't, get it's like, it's not- like, I don't even know this person, so, like, it's, it's you know, skin, no skin off my back. It should be no skin off that individual's back either. That shit happens to people all the time. They meet up on dates and they go, hey, it's not going to work, and they move off. That's, that happens to people all the time. That's a normal thing. That's a, It's literally called ghosting nowadays. Uh, whatever. I text them later and said, hey, you know what, I'm just not feeling it, but I had a lovely time meeting you. I wish you the best. Now, you're asking for a lot for somebody that doesn't even know you. Like, you're, 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 you're quite literally expecting the most from somebody that doesn't, that's not entitled for anything from you. Like you're, you're, you're actually asking for the most. It's so 
Simple. Pussy. Dating when you're fat. So. Pussy. Uh, lost respect for that individual. Respect not earned. You know when you play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and that like boom, boom, or whatever the music comes up? Yeah, that. Uh, reverse that. Fucks. Negative, negative respect. I am so sorry that that happened to you. I just want people to, like, I get it. I understand. Like, you feel sympathy. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck that you feel sympathy. I don't care. I don't really uh, honestly feel, I feel no way one or one way or another. I don't know why some people feel like, oh, I feel sympathy for this girl. So the fuck what? So you feel a little bit more than her? I, I, so what, dude? Let's talk about, let's talk about logistics here, okay? No, the whole story made no sense. The whole story made no sense. She tried to add extra stuff into it to make it seem like it was a lot worse than it actually was. And the entire internet freaked out over some bullshit that obviously should have just been solved by her going, well, you know what happens. You know, sometimes you get denied. Sometimes things happen. It is what it is. He didn't waste her time. And uh, now we're all sitting here blaming this guy. And I think that it happens to a lot of us. Um, I refer to- You're right. Yeah, it does happen to a lot of us all the time too. Literally every single day. Myself is mid-size. But it happens a lot, and it happens more frequently. As many of us have stories of rejection due to our weight. Yeah, I guess. Okay. And we really talk about. I've seen guys flirt endlessly in private and on the phone, or as long as no one knows that they're into you, for whatever reason. And then people come around or if it's time for you to be seen out somewhere or whatever. Got to speak a little bit faster than this, dude. Come on, get that vocal pattern up there a little bit. You know, it's, then it's, you don't exist. You don't exist. So it happens a lot. But I hope that what, you- Is this just your video? Is this like, is this your way of telling us that you are also in the same bracket as her? Like we should not only feel bad for her, but we should also feel bad for you. Why do we have so many people on the internet nowadays that just want to like proclaim the fact that they've had bad things happen to them too? Like people see a trend, they go, me too, me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I've had bad experiences as well. Guys have literally ghosted me as well. I, I totally have the same experience. Uh, what do you, who gives a fuck? Like, who cares about your bad experiences, dude? Like, dating is literally a smorgasbord of bad experiences. Everybody is gonna walk up to somebody and think that they look okay, but then when you see them in person, it's not gonna be good. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be look good enough for you. Or maybe other things are gonna transpire. Maybe that person's cringy. Maybe they have other things that you just don't like about them, right? Maybe you find out they don't have a job. Maybe you find out that they're, they're fucking, I don't know, they don't wear deodorant or something. Like we all have bad experiences, dude. But it seems like everybody here just feels bad for her. And it's not the proper opinion to think that person had anything wrong. Like, dude, they, 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 that person was straight up lying in their videos, bro. And we're just supposed to feel bad for that individual? Even if they weren't lying, I don't give a fuck. Like, so the fuck what? That woman was just pandering. She was just pandering to, and then trying to get sympathy points on the internet. And you guys all fell for it. Like, you guys, in my opinion, you guys are all like weak, weak-willed individuals. You had the experience that I did one time. And I tell this to give you hope and to give others hope. I dated a gentleman a long time ago. And you know what he told me? Your hair is dry? He wanted me to feel good about myself. And he kept telling me how beautiful I was. Okay. And he called me. I need a moment. With Why even bother record yourself saying you need a moment? Why can't you just say... Let me just unpause this video so I could take a moment. So, okay, whatever. Sympathy points, right? In all sincerity, he called me his goddess. Okay, so what? Like, that's normal? Have you... Okay, look. It's not normal, but that's normal. In the sense of, like, dudes nowadays are really, really simpy. Dudes will say cringy-ass shit. Like, I've called women goddesses before or really cringy names before. It is what it is. Like, so the fuck what, dude? Like, if you're dating somebody, I've said cringy-ass shit, dude. Whatever. I pray to your ass. It's so great. It's so beautiful. It's so majestic. Wow, look at the shape of it. It's so amazing. Please, use my face as a toilet seat or whatever the fuck. Not toilet seat, but you know what I'm saying. But a whole bunch of people will say cringy-ass shit. So the fuck what? Yeah. So, he called you a goddess as if, like, I don't know, what, what was it even that buildup? I was expecting him to say something crazy. A goddess is whatever. Whatever, dude. With all sincerity, he called me his goddess. Whatever. I actually think about that quite a bit. I would be cringed out if some dude called me a goddess. Like, if I was dating a dude and he was like, you're my goddess. I'd be looking at that dude like, oh, I don't know about that. Like, I don't know about that, dude. I got some indigestion right now. I'm about to go bust it down right now in the toilet. I'm about to literally let it rip. Um, damn, bro. I'm like, when I get up off that toilet seat, all you're going to hear is... <laughs> because my butt cheeks are going to be glued to the brim. 
Like, I don't want to be called a goddess. I don't, I don't like that shit, personally. I want to be just referred to as my name, and I don't like any of those, you know, those quirky, you know, pet names or whatever, dude. I don't know, man. Whatever. Maybe I'm just different. Huh? That even though there are always going to be guys who do not appreciate... Well, wh where is this story going, though? Like, so he called you a goddess, and then what? Like, you didn't go anywhere with that story. You just said a guy called you a goddess. What is What, what else happened? Like, it seems like you're going on a different story here. Oh, well... I treat them and... You're not entitled to anybody. Like, you're not entitled to anybody's time. Stop acting so entitled, man. You're, you know, you don't, who are you? Who are you? Why do you guys all expect to be treated a particular type of way? That's not how it works. Nobody's entitled to anything. Why do you guys all think you deserve stuff? Grow the fuck up. You're like 48. I just want to look at the exterior and... Oh, yeah, you already know about that. Can't see me for anything but a little extra weight. Well, yeah, that's like being a woman 101, right? Like since the time women are like 14, they're instantly sexualized and like dudes are willing to risk it all for them. So like I, I would expect that most women have an understanding that dudes in general are just trying to like smell their vaginas on a daily basis and like they'll do or say anything in order to get to that realm. So of course you should always be looking at it with those glasses. You should always be understanding like, is this guy in it for me or is he in it to smell the shape of my butthole? there's probably a good chance that it's probably your butthole. But that's okay, because maybe if you wait long enough and you weed them out, you might be able to get a guy that likes you for you and wants to smell your butthole, the best of both worlds. Find a scissor and unite them, you know, have a fusion dance of butthole and you. That's amazing. But not, this is it's obvious that all women are gonna have to sort through that stuff. Like you had one bad experience and not even a bad experience. I don't even know if this was a bad experience. Like this guy called you a goddess and somehow you're, you're what does this even imply? What, what am I supposed to take from that? Is Did he treat you bad? Can't see me for anything but a little extra weight or a little pudge or whatever. Dude, you're just like, is this just a video of you saying that you are also a victim? <sighs> okay. That they... Don't accept pleasantry treatments when you should be treated like a queen, when you elevate your man in your life to king status what the fuck are you talking about how old are you bro what is up with people nowadays using these fucking terms bro I, I'm, I deserve to be treated like a queen because i'm gonna treat you like a king what are you talking about dude like why can't we just be partners in a relationship like what what's wrong with me treating you like a human being and you treating me like a human being like a boyfriend girlfriend or husband and wife thing like i don't know man like what the it may not be all hope is lost ye who enter this place yeah but i appreciate me how i am you don't deserve that though you can't just expect somebody to appreciate you exactly the way you are regardless of whatever you are it's not how that works at all we don't even do that for like regular stuff you might put up with things like you might have to oh i don't have enough money so i'll just buy this instead or like you might and not everything's gonna come perfect so you you know it is what it is but so what like that doesn't mean anything like you, so you want somebody to accept you exactly the way you are regardless of whether or not you're doing something bad are you crazy are you actually stupid that's not how that works we don't use that on any any do we don't use that on anything ever that's not how that works but guess what there's always someone that i'm going to be someone's goddess no no, you're running the gam. You're you're gambling right now. You're basically saying this guy doesn't like me exactly the way I am. I'm gonna ditch him because I'm gonna find somebody that does like me exactly the way I am. Even if you have like toxic traits or your bad attitude or whatever it may be, you're just basically saying I know somebody out there will find all these things attractive. But then again, even if you do find those things and you find a guy that does find you attractive on all those fronts, does that necessarily mean that you want to date that guy? Is that necessarily somebody that you actually want to date? Maybe the person that actually wanted you to change the ways that you were acting, or maybe wanted to get you in the gym, or maybe wanted you to lose weight, or or maybe wanted to get you in therapy or maybe wanted you to wear different clothes or maybe wanted you to not go outside like maybe that guy was actually the better move for you and instead you're sitting here talking about some well he's not the right move for me like what do you what, what what are we even doing right now like you're not gonna get everything that you want regardless of what you i want a bajillion dollars i do i want a bajillion dollars and i want it now right here in my hands oh look can't don't have it so why would i expect that for somebody that i'm dating it's just there's always someone that I'm going to be someone's goddess. You're fucking cringe. So I just held on to that. That. And you made it to what, 45 and didn't get shit? Someone won't be able to appreciate it. True sadness. True sadness. True cringe. True 
sometimes I feel like the internet's a great place. It's amazing. It's beautiful. And one of the reasons why I love TikTok toast so much is because the cringe is on full display. And people, for some reason, it's like you open up the app of TikTok and your brain capacity reduces by like a good 45%. Like the, the smoothness of your brain is obviously like, I don't know. It's like, it, it's almost kind of like somebody's taking one of those scrapers or a squeegee and they're just smoothing down the sides of your brain when you watch any of this shit. Because it seems like so many people are easily manipulated by some random girl on the internet crying about the fact that a guy said he didn't want to date her anymore and just walked off. <sighs> Whatever, bro. So that last one was really cringy, though. Whatever, dude. You're a queen. You're a goddess. You're a king, I guess. What the fuck? I don't fucking... Whatever, man. But anyway, um, yeah, we're going to end the video here. If you enjoyed today's video, I appreciate everybody can leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in pizza. I love it. You love it. Don't act like you don't. You know you do. And even if you are vegan or whatever, you can still get pizza without any cheese on it. I've had pizza without cheese on it before. Not bad. Not bad at all. Vegan, vegan pizza. I've even had pizza with pineapple. It's not too bad. And you're flavoring up your semen or whatever, you know, uh, orifice that you have down there. You're seasoning it. You're making it taste better, depending on how much you eat. I think you have to eat a lot of it. But regardless, I'm kind of passively seasoning it. So in a way, even though it's pineapple pizza and a lot of people don't like it, I'm seasoning my, my, my oral sensations. So like, what do you want? <laughs> I'm being better for you guys um, or whoever is indulging in the art of flatioing me. But anyway, uh, I think you're amazing. I think you're beautiful. I think you have amazing things going for you. I really love that you're a very smell good individual. I love your ability to actually recognize when somebody's wrong, like there's an individual or I'm here and uh, acknowledge that there are things that they can change instead of just sitting here crying on the internet for hours and hours and hours and having people just yes queen you consistently. Um, I didn't expect that one girl though. I didn't expect that one girl to do that. That like, uh, I thought she was like super deep on the right. I thought she would have at least like understood that that person was probably bullshitting her. But even on those like, I mean, look, I don't really, I don't really fuck with people on the deep right, whatever, dude. But I would have expected, since I've seen some of her content before, that she would have called that person out, but she didn't. So I don't know. I guess not. Fuck it. But anyway, guys, we're gonna end the video here. If you want to check out my social medias, will be listed down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.